hot when you turn it down. <laughs> Uh, you knew she was going to be stalking, waiting. <laughs> good evening, good evening. <sighs> Mud pie. <laughs> Got Jason on phone duty. <laughs> All right, we'll give everybody, sorry I'm a few minutes late. I wanted to upload some pictures so that I could use them for our class tonight. Um, while we're waiting to get started, um, any of you that do Facebook, if you do Facebook, I have created a group that is um, Essential Oils with Mama Bear. Um, if you want to be a part of any kind of essential oil specific discussions, it's going to be on that page. I'm going to move everything to there. Um, so I wanted to let everybody know about that. Um, I added some people, it kind of gives you this thing to add people to the group and I just went through and clicked a couple and then I realized I was getting really close to time for class. So I didn't like scour through all of my friends list to do that so um if you haven't joined and you're interested in being a part of that group just send a request if i didn't add you um i'm sorry i didn't i'm on it <laughs> i didn't intentionally um forget you um so yeah so that <laughs> oh my my oils have worn out <sighs> okay, so yeah, okay, so the the page I deleted so you may see it kind of disappear um, I'm a novice when it comes to setting up Facebook stuff so um, I wanted to go back and make it because the way I understand it and Kitty's here so she can tell me if I'm correct on this But if it's a page you guys can't freely post on it um, questions discussions articles things like that um, on a group you can so I made the group public I think I think I made it public um, so that everybody can see it but I want to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to be able to post and discuss things and it's not just has to go through me every time um, so we're gonna see how that works and kind of go from there um, we have a separate page for our team, our doTERRA team, that we have separate, that's a closed group. <laughs> Stop. It's a closed group um, for people who have joined our team. Will you stop? I like being over here. <laughs> mm. Beth, what is up? She said, dang, I thought you two had dropped off the face of the earth. <laughs> Beth, remember? In California? Oh. It's been a long time. There's Vina. Hello, everybody. Mark. Mark, I have your stuff. I'm shipping it off tomorrow. I just approved your thing in the thing, Mark. <laughs> With like pages, no, they can't post on it. Yeah, so that's what it is. I wanted to make sure. I don't want it to be me posting all the time. I want, if you guys see an article about something or, a, you know, a clip of something or you see maybe a video that you like, I want it to be able to be where you guys can actively join in the conversation. So that's, I'm going to tell you to go back inside. I can't, I'm talking about your friend. Turn the dinger off, I please. I think turn the dinger, dinger. <laughs> They're my favorite daughter-in-law. <laughs> Who said that? Suburban, she's trying to hook up Vina, right? Isn't it Vina? With um her son. I think, I think so, something like that. So we're giving everybody a few more minutes because we just started at 10 after. Um, so I'm gonna let everybody kind of come in a little bit at a time. This is an oil stick up. <laughs> Give me your. You know it wouldn't be an oils class Give about oil. him. Give me your oil. Paying. Give me your oil. Give me your lang a lang. <laughs> Why can't 
I put you in timeout. <clears throat> mm, anyway. Little Green Acres said, Hey, Mama and Papa Bear, so good to see y'all again. How you doing? Andy said, Aw, you can't kick out Mr. Jason yet, Ms. Robin. The class clown counts, too. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she, they're going back and forth, her and uh, Vina. That's pretty funny. Um, okay. So, so <clears throat> on a serious note, before we get started, <laughs> um, I want to put, I'm not having all messed up, I look like hope. <laughs> um, I want to put, I want to put this out there. Now, Robin and I are not going live much, that much anymore, um, but I'm going to say this, our chat box in there is open for everybody and anybody to ask questions, comment, mm -hmm. talk with each other. The moment I see any bullying or I see anybody being nasty towards another person, I will block you. I'm done playing the YouTube games. So if you get nasty towards R Robin, you're banned. Um, or if you get nasty to one another, I'll block you. We're done with the... I'm done with the drama. <laughs> with the drama. <laughs> We've had enough of that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Laura lies here. Wholesome Rich said, I was just leaving another live chat to go eat dinner and saw y'all on. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Robin, can you tell my wife about oils and cat? I don't know what that means. Um, <laughs> you trying to rob your neck there, don't you? I love you guys and really miss your live shows, but Ryan's calling me to the table. We'll go eat real quick and come back. We'll be here for a little while. Hey, you gonna have any cornbread? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Jason has to stay for the men <laughs> and make every all the men secure in their manhood, <laughs> listening to us talk about oils. Um, okay, so it's been about we're almost at the ten minute mark. We're getting close. Mm -hmm. Um. We're going to talk about a certain group of oils. And this is so funny because every time I look down at my notes, I see one thing, but in my head, I keep thinking another thing. Like, I keep going with a totally different group of oils, and then I look down and I'm like, oh, wait, we're doing a different group here. <laughs> and the reason filter, why... Filter. Well, the reason why is because um, I have had... A horrible horrible back pain this week um, like super bad I have um, I have this uh, really bad spasm in my shoulder and oh the vet said she's to blame for her cat dying from oils <whistles> oh or was she using I'm assuming she was using them on the cat who said that that's David Jeffers. His wife oh. is Rebecca, I believe. Um, well, it's time it to get an another vet. Is it an oil? Well, not necessarily, because there are some. There are all these articles that are starting to come out um, that ha are showing a little bit of scientific proof. I mean, I gotta, I gotta say, I've seen a little bit of scientific proof that's saying that even though um, it may not bother your cat now, that it may be a long-term thing. And one of them is Melaleuca. And that's one of the things that I, um, with Kitty, you know, Kitty always says that she uses it with her cats all the time. And it's, and one of the articles I read said that it'll just up and all of a sudden there will be something like, it, they'll just die. Like there's no warning or anything like that. So there's definitely a lot of studying to be done. No, she was diffusing. Was the cat able to leave and go back and forth? Because if that's the case, then really, that's kind of an iffy subject. That there is, is a some... closed-minded. Yeah, even, it even can if, be. Even if diffusing, I don't see it being the reason why an animal died. I, I don't. Like I said, there's an article, and I'll look to see if I can find it, what I, what I saw um, I think it was on one of the Facebook discussions that I was hovering in, um, and we'll just have to look and see if we can find, you know, if 
David, if you can send me an email and tell me what oil she was using, maybe we can try and get to the bottom of it. Um, so anyway, my shoulder, um, I have a really bad spasm and I get them occasionally and apparently I've been told that it happens when you spend a lot of time in front of a computer. Um, but back behind my um, shoulder blade, um, I, I had a really bad spasm and I was using a heating pad and it seems like I might have scalded myself with that. So now we're treating a small little blister on my shoulder um with lavender and that seems to be working pretty well okay i'm gonna i'm gonna i want to jump in here and i want to talk more with with but the situation that's going on with david jeffries mm -hmm. here's the thing if that cat was always by his wife's side that cat pretty much had free reign that cat could have got up and left right so animals look here's it, this is just a fact of life Animals, they don't think about what's on TV or who's cool and who's not cool to hang out with. They're, whether it's Apollo, the cat, mm -hmm. a raccoon, mm -hmm. a wolf, a deer, their main concern is survival. survival. Mm -hmm. So they know what is going to kill them and what's not. Or what's not pleasant. Or what's right. not, yeah. And if it's mm -hmm. going to kill them, it's not going to be pleasant to them. <coughs> so that, <coughs> excuse me, that cat. So there's Kitty. My cats are around oils all the time for years with vet's blessings, diffusing and application. One of my cats is 17, almost 18 years old. I don't use ones topically except Melaleuca. And she uses Melaleuca and she swears by it. Mm -hmm. So, I don't... That, that is just another example of a person who has some letters behind their name that really don't know their butthole from a hole in the ground. <clears throat> um, a lot of people, unfortunately, a lot of people in our society now are just extremely closed-minded when it comes to oils. They're extremely closed-minded when it comes to using mm -hmm. herbs mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But, but Which blows my mind because you want to grab them by the throat and say, hey, uh, genius, the medicines that you're pushing, what are they trying to mimic? Because at the end of the day, the, the pills that, that they push, they're trying to mimic what happens with natural remedies so david please tell your wife that this guy that's been around wildlife See? and animals uh for like ever mm -hmm. believes that that is just a closed-minded vet mm -hmm. who doesn't know anything and she's probably thinking about oils that they got, that somebody's getting yeah, from Walmart. Yeah, grocery store. It's, it's no different than how some people look at homeschool. There are some people that have accused us of being abusing our children because we we homeschool. <laughs> Hello? I mean, one was a judge. Mm -hmm. I had to stand in front of a judge and hear him complain about how I was stupid for taking my kid out of a, a higher-end school. But he was... It, it's neither here nor there. Anyway, okay, so Terry says the article that I sent her said you can't use eucalyptus oil and rosemary, but she cooks with rosemary and burns eucalyptus candles. Smell of eucalyptus calms me with my epilepsy. Um, another thing, eucalyptus I think is definitely one of them. Hey, Amy, I totally did not even see you come in here. We've all these things keep going. Yeah, so Kitty says cats generally leave the area with something that's poisonous to them. And that really is one of the things that they um that they say is that, you know, it, like Suburban says, if I diffuse anything such as eucalyptus or something similar, my cats will run. They leave. I mean, and that's the overall thing um mm -hmm. is that typically if it's something that's not doesn't jive with them they it, it would be like if you or i were exposed to something that was giving us a headache and it was making us miserable we would leave that area and we would go away from it or if we started to breathe something in and it started making us feel claustrophobic it's, or sick to our stomach we would leave right. it's the same kind of thing it's that instinct it, it think about how 
we used to explain how snake away works. Mm-hmm. It's no, uh, this is how when we were doing nuisance wildlife removal, we would put out a granule called snake away. Mm-hmm. And the main ingredients with the snake away was stuff that burned the Jacobson's gland in the snake's mouth because that's how snakes locate their food. They mm-hmm. flick in their tongue mm-hmm. and they're grabbing air molecules and they're sticking it to the this Jacobson's gland and that's how they're going to find their food. Well, this is the how the snake away works is this, if we were to stand here and every time Robin was to open her mouth, I would jam cinnamon or cayenne pepper in her mouth. Bam, mm-hmm. bam, mm-hmm. bam. Sooner or later, she's either going to punch the crap out of me or she's just going to get away from me. Mm -hmm. That's the way animals work. So if this oil that you were diffusing in your home was irritating this cat, they would have left the room. Plain and simple. They would have left the room. Anyway, so... And and look what Amy said. Amy's right. Diffusers typically only fill up 300 square feet. Of space, anyhow. Cats will definitely move if they shouldn't breathe it in as long as they aren't trapped. Exactly. I tried a flea topical that you put on the back of a cat's neck. Cat went into seizures. Was better once I washed it off. I'd rather try EOS and store-bought now. It's horrible. Last seizure. Oh, that was the cat. Yeah. My animals are babies, so I understand. Okay. Hey, Teresa Dean. What's up? Okay, so, again, Mark, if Rebecca wants to send me an email with the stuff that she was diffusing, I mean, I think I saw in there he said lemon and lavender. Um, as long as the cat wasn't trapped and could leave um, and it wasn't in a small enclosed space, it really, I don't really know that that would be the cause. Um so, now that we've talked about that, let's um, let's start talking about some oils. So anyway, back to my knit, my back. Um, the reason why I was thinking I was thinking about citrus oils is because I've got lemongrass on my back and I can smell it. So for some reason that lemon is associating with that. So now I'm thinking citrus, but we're actually going to um talk about herbal oils today. So by definition, um, Farmer's Almanac says that herbs always, the herb oils always come from the leafy green part of a low growing plant. So the herb oils are going to include um, basil, cilantro, lemongrass, marjoram, melissa, oregano, patchouli, peppermint, rosemary, spearmint, and thyme. So there's quite a few that are considered herbal essential oils. Um, All of these are steam distilled where like with the citrus ones would all be cold pressed. Um, And they can all be taken internally. So that makes them good for cooking but not only can you use them for cooking or baking you can also use them for health support and that's the stuff we're going to talk about tonight now i know i've done each one of these classes separate well most of them not all of them but we're going to kind of do a quick run through of these oils um, and talk a little bit about each one and if there's an oil in here that we talk about that you've used and what you've used it for go ahead and put it in the chat so that we know um there's a lot of really cool um discussion on all of that okay so oh let's see what we got here all right so um i don't think wintergreen wintergreen is not an herb it's from a shrub so it's not considered an herb. Um, all of these are the ones that are grown, you know, like like the ones that what I just said, the, the how the basil, cilantro, all of these are from the leafy green part of a low growing plant. 
So um, the basil, I mean not the basil, the winter green is actually made from the, is it made from the bark or is it made from, I guess it is from the leaves, the, technically the leaves, but I don't, winter green is not an herb, um, at least I don't think it is. All the research I found didn't mention winter green as one of the herbals. <clears throat> So, okay, so the very first one is basil. Um, it can be done, um, let's see. Okay, my back, I'm sorry, I didn't finish that story. So with my back, what I've been using is copaiba, um, lemongrass, and rosemary. And the copaiba is just an overall wonderful thing. Lemongrass is really good for tendons, joints, um, muscle, and then the rosemary, the reason why I use the rosemary, it's good for muscle memory. So once I get everything worked out, the rosemary will help to keep it, you know, from bunching back up kind of thing. Um, all right, so now on to basil. Let's talk, a bit, talk about basil. So basil, you can use all three ways, arom uh, aromatically, internally, and topically. Um, you can apply basil neat. Um, but I think as we've kind of gone through this journey, we've learned that um, <clears throat> using a carrier oil actually helps quite a bit um, to help kind of spread out the effectiveness of the oil um, to kind of deal with flashpoint, which is, you know, we're all 98.6. So the minute you put that oil on your skin, you're effectively starting to lose or you're starting to lose its effectiveness quickly because of the temperature. Um, as far as contraindications and warnings on basil, um, not for use during pregnancy or breastfeeding. <clears throat> Anybody with any kind of gastric issues, Crohn's, IBS, anything like that, my, my notes say no bueno. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> so you don't want to use basil um, if you have any kind of gastric irritations at all. Do you hear that? No, no basil, no bueno. <laughs> but Jason does use basil. Um, not, not a lot though, right? Not very heavily. I use basil. <laughs> in the corner reading a book y'all just so you know well you gave me the um, i'm gonna no, rip your face off i no. gave you that look because you were being a class clown can you participate in class <laughs> i was i was making puppets i know and everybody was talking about it too okay so um with the basil one of the cool things that i saw um that I, well i didn't see it i remembered it when i was going back through my notes Hey, Nanda. Why is Jason hiding? Because I gave him the eat crap look. That's what it was. Um, so the producers will actually pinch off the little white flowers that start to grow. Um, they'll pinch them off. And the reason why they do that is it actually, once the white flowers start to grow, um, it will lower the potency of the leaves if the white flower is still on there. So you pinch the flower off. The producers will do that so that the oil is more potent. So that's pretty important as far as them making the basil oil. They have to make sure they pinch those white um, flowers off. <clears throat> also, um, basil was used in tombs and at burials because they believed back in way back in history, they believed that basil allowed um, the gates to be opened for somebody to cross over after they've died. Um, so a lot of times it was used um, for that reason. They'd put it in burial ceremonies and things like that. Also, um, Romans used it as a diuretic and also as a carminative. So diuretic we know is makes you pee and um, carminative means it helps you not fart. <laughs> It helps you not have gas. <laughs> You're so silly. Um, okay, so top uses for basil. Has anybody here used basil and what have they used it for? 
basil, <laughs> pizza, spaghetti. <laughs> Jason, what have you used basil for? I just said. No, you've used it for more than that. Well, oh, I've used it to diffuse in my truck. Yes, why did you use it to diffuse in your truck? Because the teenager was in it and it killed the teenage funk. So basil does definitely work as a deodorizer. It'll take some of the nasty smell. We use it, don't we? Isn't that one of the ones that we do in a hotel room? Because uh, it kills all the germs and stuff too? No, we do. Well, yeah, I guess it is because lemon and basil. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, now that was a face and sound. <laughs> okay, so um, as far as the top uses, obviously um, mental alertness <clears throat> and also. Um, <laughs> they're silly. Okay, so Amy says basil on the nose instantly opens the airways when your nose is junky. We use it a lot for that. Yes, you yes, can definitely. Yes, I did do that because I did do that because I did Amy, do that. Amy for real told, mm -hmm. told me about that. And yep, I, and I do it. It's great for war infections too. I do it. <laughs> war infections. She means ear infections because that's definitely um, one of the definite uses for uh, basil. Um, it can also help to lessen anxiety. Now, if you don't like the smell of basil, <laughs> it's not going to help your anxiety. It might actually raise your level of anxiety. So you got to be careful with that. It's like I say with every oil, just because it says it's supposed to help with your anxiety, if it's not a pleasant smell to you, it's not going to help. Um, you're being asked to scoot over. Let me scoot a little. There we go. Stop. At least I got my cool chair. My chair is nice. Stop now. Hey, go for green. Okay. Um, it also helps with your favorite thing in the world. Food? No, mensis pain. The mensis. You don't like talking about the mensis. <laughs> I'm going to call that. Go ahead and go back. And <laughs> I waited intentionally <laughs> until you came over here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it'll help with pain as well. Um, there are several. Uh, so this is one to try if you haven't tried it. <clears throat> it's also really good for earaches. What's that say? What? What love? Bergy, I guess. Bergy. Like Pittsburgh. Bergy love. Um, Bergy love. Now, with earaches, you don't put the oil in your ear. Don't. TJ put... Workshop in the house. Don't put the oil in your ear. Um, you can put it behind the ear, up around, close by the ear, but you don't want to put it down directly into your you ear. Don't put it in the ear. Like when you're taking your car key to clean your ear. No! You what? You don't, you don't do that. Car key in your ear? Why not? Thank God I don't have a car key because there's no way. <laughs> That's how you get the wax out. No. Look, the, the lady... The ear doctor at the VA, when she was doing the hearing test, she told me to stop using Q-tips. <laughs> so what am I supposed to clean my ear out with? I use my car key. No, 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 no. She I'm didn't... still wanting to use one of those earwax candles. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, let's thing. just burn the whole side of your face. <laughs> I mean, we'll try it on you first. <laughs> okay, so, um, only men clean their ears like that. Yep, that's exactly right. Now, um... Amy, correct me if I'm wrong, but you can, <laughs> but you can take, I think you can take like a cotton ball and put the oil in the cotton ball and then kind of put the cotton ball in your ear. And that also will help to get it close to the ear, but not down in the ear. Um, you're not supposed to clean your ears with your car keys. What? Question mark. Teresa said, actually, Jason, I've seen that done many times by all men. <laughs> They make these plastic ear cleaners. They're amazing. Hmm. Okay. So, that's basically... Oh, the other thing is um, basil. You can use basil for muscle spasms and relaxing. Um, 
not my smell of choice so I didn't want to use basil I'm not crazy about how strong because basil's got a very small uh, strong smell to it so yeah you can put the cotton ball in your ear so yeah if you take a um, take a cotton ball put a drop um, over it um, put it in the cotton ball and then put the cotton ball in your ear that'll work um, well that way uh, again, it's good for muscle spasms and relaxing. It's also good for bug bites. It can repel, it can repel certain bugs. Um, it can also, another thing, the thing that Jason does, has used it for, tell everybody about your mold story. We talked about it last week, but, or no, you used oregano, didn't you? Yeah, and it choked me out. But I heard that basil you can also use basil to kill mold as well so that's another thing that you can try if oregano doesn't jive with you if you don't mind the basil smell then you can try basil as well i wonder what tj i don't understand what he's talking about hey my brother i hit that big bell my friends the for a notification oh <laughs> i guess <laughs> i'm thinking that's what it was um okay next oil let's talk about Kylantro. <laughs> I'm sorry, cilantro. <laughs> Which is also similar to coriander. Okay, so cilantro is the leaf part, coriander is the seed part. Same plant. Double dipping. Yes. Basically have the same properties, but they do have a couple of different applications. Um, again, this oil you can use all three ways, aromatically, topically, and internally. Um, this is another really sh <laughs> stop. <laughs> this is another really strong oil. Um, the uh, the thing with uh, cilantro is like I use cilantro a lot to flavor um, food. So we use it in our salsa. We use it in our guacamole. Um, we, I mean, we use it in a lot of different things. So, this is definitely one that you will use cooking as well as the other, um, properties that it has. Basil, you can use it, um, but again, it is another really strong one. So, you gotta be really careful. Use a wooden toothpick, put it down, you know, put some on the wooden toothpick and then put it into your, and then stir around, taste it, try again, just depending on how strong of a flavor you want your basil to be. You're killing me. I'm, I'm helping. Super killing me. Um, okay, so cilantro. Children and people with sensitive skin need to make sure that they dilute um, that one you got to be really, 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 um, careful with. <clears throat> um, it's not safe for pregnancy. Anybody who's pregnant, be very careful. Um, see, and okay, so Rose brings up a good point. I always forget to buy the cilantro on taco night. Definitely. That oil has saved us so many times when I didn't have and I didn't have any fresh cilantro, I didn't have any that I got from the store. I mean, like I always forget it. So that oil has saved me so many different times. Um I was able to cook with it and get the flavor because cilantro is one of those flavors that you can't you can't like substitute. You can't do it with something else. So um that oil is a good oil to keep on hand because as you're using it you're not using a whole lot at a time so a little bit goes a really long way and a lot of it goes even further right so <clears throat> the other thing you got to be careful with with cilantro is anybody with sugar issues diabetes um you have to make sure to monitor your blood sugar with this um, because it will help to lower blood sugar so you gotta be really careful can I help you are you bored 
So if you're bored, that means everybody else is bored too. I'm not bored. I'm doing what you told me to do. You're, you act to like you're being. Laugh. You're you're acting like you're being bored. <laughs> Okay, so I was going to ask if the oil is the same taste as the fresh. Without the crisp, you know how like with the cilantro, you know, you've got that, that kind of, I don't know, that, that fresh taste. I mean, it does have a little bit less of a fresh taste, at least in my opinion, but it's much more potent. So you're definitely getting the, I've got cilantro in here. Um... <clears throat> Would cilantro oil be added like oregano? Yes, just a little bit at a time. Um, one thing I have learned with cilantro, you have to be really careful because if you put too much in, that's all you taste. It's just like oregano. If you put too much in, you're basically tossing what you made. Tossing your cookies. <laughs> Can you imagine cilantro cookies? Yes. Yuck. Okay. So, with cilantro, um, it was introduced to America along with dandelions. It was believed to be brought in to, um, through Mexico by conquistadors. So, I thought that was a pretty cool little tidbit. Um, as far as what you can use it for, it's a powerful detoxifier. Um, and you can use it to cleanse internally. This is my spear checking out. <laughs> um, it's a powerful antioxidant as well. So that's going to help get rid of the free radicals that we're uh, exposed to daily, whether it be um, cigarette smoke, um, exhaust in cars, um, the nasty stuff that comes out of the smokestacks from all the factories. Do you think Here, it, it, would, it would help with my smell of my Viking beard? Ugh. With all of the lands that I had to conquer with my spears? <laughs> Okay. You can't kiss me for you can't do that. You ruined my secret identity. <laughs> Your secret identity. Oh, that's funny. Hey, no, I can't say that. No, <laughs> you can't say that. We were there. It's still too early in the evening for that. Hold on, my big mustache. Your lips aren't long enough for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, powerful antioxidant. Um, one of the things that we're exposed to, one of the things we're exposed to a lot here is the chicken farms that are around. And so, a lot of times we have to deal with when they start to clean out all of the chicken poo, that smell can be nasty, disgusting. And so, you know, if you're smelling it, you know you're breathing it in, whatever it is. Um, so you got to be real careful with that. So this is one what, that will definitely you, what clean up. Say? What? You said, did you not? Did, did you? What? If you can smell it, you're breathing it in. <laughs> did it, did it. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you're breathing in the bad stuff. It's not just, I'm not saying like when you, obviously when you smell, you're inhaling. But what I mean is, is that you're, you're taking in. I did not inhale. I want to whoop you. You're going to get hurt. <laughs> what is the definition of is? <laughs> ammonia is exactly what it is. It's The ammonia smell is really, really bad. <laughs> Reminder, please remember to keep the chat. It's not just the chat, but... <laughs> mm. So, <laughs> you know what the best part about this is? Mm. It's got a hole on the top. <laughs> My vent. <sighs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, look, it's J. Noel with horns. <laughs> I got my top knot going on. <laughs> Again, wouldn't be an oils class without this one, right? <sighs> well, since we didn't have you eating any of them or tasting any of them. Hmm. Okay, so... um. Another thing is it is also a carminative. Um, <laughs> yeah, be nice because less than 90 days, she's going to kick you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> less than 90 days, she's going to be doing a live stream with us. Mm -hmm. It'll be very cool. So anyway, carminative means it helps you not fart. <laughs> so this is a good one. Um, that's because he's got an extra hole in his head. <laughs> Um, okay, also liver and kidney health 
This helps with liver and kidney health. Liver alone. <clears throat> also, cilantro is another one that's really good for <clears throat> um, removing body odor and room odor. Or teenage funk. <laughs> yeah. So these these a lot of these herbal oils are going to be really good for um, somewhat helping to neutralize um, any kind of odors that are lingering around. All right, so one of my favorites, Happy and you know what I haven't been doing? I did all of this work, Happy and I've been talking, year. and I haven't even shown any of them. I am such a bad host. Where is, ba oh, that's right, here maybe, right here. Okay, so this is basil. It comes in a 15 milliliter bottle. I'll taste it. Where's it at? I don't have it out here. Oh, um, so on. that's. That's basil. Um, the next one is Kylantro. You got that Cilantro. one out here? I'll taste it. <laughs> um, no, I don't. I didn't grab these to taste. Okay, so the next one we're going to talk about is lemongrass. We got um, that one out here? Yes, yeah. it's right there. Right here. Here, I'll taste it. So this is lemongrass. I absolutely love. I love the smell of this one. It's so good. All right, you want right, to so taste you it? You want to? Oh, I'm going to take you off, huh? <laughs> There you go. Okay, okay. now you we're going to taste the lemongrass. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, One drop, y'all. Uh, One. That's warm. <laughs> no, it's not hot oil, but... <laughs> things going on besides that at the time. I, I think they, um, and I put it in one hive and then put the bees in there and they absconded. Uh, yeah, well. Um, so I think that is an urban legend. Yeah, well, I don't think so. What? Who's in the house? Full spectrum surveillance. Kelly and I were just up at a neighbor's house. We were talking essential oils. We recommended that we recommended you to get their next order from. That is awesome. We appreciate Love that. Ya. Lone Star, what's up? You just missed ah, this. Ah. Don't I have another one that I can... Ah. There's another one right there that you can have. But... <clears throat> so, let me send somebody something real quick. Oh, that is some kind of nasty. Hey, no. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you might as well get the basil too. Okay, so um, as far as lemongrass goes, this is one that um, you, you kind of want to dilute. <clears throat> um, it's photosensitive, right? So if you use it for 12 hours, you kind of want to stay out of the sunlight. Okay? So no dancing around in the sun. You'll be okay. You don't wake up before 8 anyway. Just kidding. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> we slept in, y'all, this morning. It was pretty nice. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, the next smoking reptile. What's up? Um, okay, so the other thing too to be careful with is pregnant women. You can smell um, you can topically use it, just don't take it internally. Just be real careful with that. And again, dilute, 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 dilute. Dilute, 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 dilute. All right, so top uses, the one that we definitely, we use around here a lot is joint pain, <clears throat> uh, muscle pain. Not. 
<laughs> not that kind of joint. Like your elbow. All right, all right, your elbows. Or your wrist. Wrists. Fingers. Knees. Um. That is still lingering on my tongue. <laughs> mm. Um. Also, um, another. <clears throat> it's another insect and parasite repellent. Uh, so you gotta, you can use this a lot of times. A lot of people will plant lemongrass um, around certain areas to keep <clears throat> to keep bugs away from their plants. It's also good for thyroid regulation. Kitty, I'd be interested to know if you've used it at all because I remember you asking me about thyroid issues. So it's good for both hyper and hypo <clears throat> um, thyroid. It's also good for bladder, kidney infections, kidney stones, um, any kind of digestive issues as well. Dude, you got some stones talking to me that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one <clears throat> is marjoram. I want your picture. I want, oh my Okay, whoa, I know, I know. There we go, marjoram. That's the next one. <laughs> I, I cannot feel it here on my lips. Uh oh. Will, lemon, will lemongrass plants keep bugs out of the house? Well, the problem is lemongrass is a grass. It's literally grass. Yeah, so, but I you mean, can take cuttings <clears throat> and let them dry in your house and that will repel them. Yeah, or just diffuse the oil and maybe that'll help. That too. So, <clears throat> um, marjoram, let's see, studies indicate that, holy cow, what in the world, so I don't even want to try and pronounce that, <laughs> just not, somebody's copying and pasting, <laughs> okay, marjoram's the next one, <clears throat> marjoram, that's the National Institute of Health, yeah, okay, so that's the, okay, that's what it is. I thought it looked familiar. That's one of the species of lemongrass. And that's a sound I love to hear. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, is that basil? That is basil. Let's do the basil. Mm. Yeah, and that's a good point. <clears throat> Kitty said you got to be careful. Lemongrass is a tall grass and it will become invasive very easily. Take the marjoram picture down. No, I don't want to take the marjoram picture down. I just wanted to hear you gagging in silent. I mean, in. Okay, we're going to do the taste test with the basil. Oh, you really don't want to take a whole thing of that. Just put your finger in the cap. I just go like this. Oh, but you're going to get my orifice reducer. I do it home for your orifice. <laughs> put your finger in there. I didn't get anything. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You feel it on your nose already. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be throwing up later. <laughs> nah. So what do you think about basil? Basil's a hell, heck of a lot better than a lemongrass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's rough. Okay. Oh boy, basil test. <sighs> Okay, so um, as far as marjoram goes, again, you can do all three, aromatically, topically, um, and internally. It actually got rid of the lemongrass taste. I bet. That's nice. Yep. Um, if you're pregnant, uh-oh, you shouldn't have had any, because if you're pregnant, you're not supposed to use it. It's just a baby elephant. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Just don't go any further. Stop. Okay, for marjoram, um, let's see. There's all okay. different types of things that you have to be careful with. Before I even get to what it's useful for, marjoram is one of those that has a lot of warnings. You have to be careful. <clears throat> um, bleeding disorders, diabetes, Gastrointestinal blockage, ulcers, lung conditions, seizures. So, Terry, this is definitely not one to use. Um, urinary tract and um, urinary tract obstruction. That means you can't um, pee. Also, 
No squatty potty for you. It's one of those with the surgery. Like, you know, we covered a couple oils that said that if you were going to have surgery within two weeks, you need to stop it. So, <clears throat> definitely one that you have to be careful um, with, especially if you're going to have surgery, you want to stop it before that. And the reason why, it was just like when we were talking about with the blood, um, with uh, blood sugar, that you have to be careful if you have diabetes with this one and using it, because it will lower your blood sugar. And so, they don't want you to use it. She said, what? But I cook with it. It's just what I saw. It says that it can help with with seizures. And Terry, I don't know if can you... Can help with seizures? I mean, can cause seizures. I'm sorry. Um, and she said, just like rosemary. And I know you've had some lately. Maybe that might be an issue. I don't know. Um, something worth looking into. Uh, but what I was saying with this... The reason why they don't want you, whenever they tell you about not using it within two weeks of a surgery, um, the problem is, is that a lot of times people that are using these, their blood sugar can drop. Even if they're in a normal blood sugar range, if they're using that oil, um, it can drop their blood sugar while they're in surgery, and then that can become a huge problem. <clears throat> so, definitely, if you're using any of these oils that it says within two weeks, if you're having surgery, stop using those oils within two weeks of your surgery. Okay? Um, another thing that marjoram does is it interacts okay. It interacts with lithium. I don't know how many people actually use lithium anymore. But so you don't if use you it take, with your batteries. <laughs> if you take lithium for anything, um... So Def Ryobi should stay completely away from marjoram. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ryobi and marjoram do not mix. Um, okay. So, as or far... Or the Energizer Bunny. He should stay away from that. Yeah, you'll never see... you know he's got some lithium right up his bunghole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's possible. Yes, Suburban, that's the other thing. Is This one also does actually thin the blood. So, that's another reason why it's an issue as well. <clears throat> um... So anyway, if you ever see any warning about don't use within two weeks of surgery, definitely listen to that because you want to make very sure that you're not throwing a wrench in the mix that your doctor doesn't know about and could cause a problem during surgery. <laughs> Take that softball. <laughs> okay. We got a bleeder here. It doesn't do well with lithium so it will interact with lithium so if you take lithium or you know somebody who takes lithium and uses this oil you got to make sure not to do that it will interact with it um the other thing too that you have to be careful with is it is a diuretic uh, meaning it will make you pee so don't use it if you're dehydrated and if you are hydrated at the time, make sure to continue to be hydrated so that you don't get dehydrated. And do use it 48 hours before a drug test. Seriously? <laughs> if you're Bill Clinton. <laughs> but wait, he didn't inhale. So. <laughs> Not true, but anyway. Um, okay, so as far as, now that we've gone through the laundry list of things of what it can, you know, the bad things. Like, this is the only one that I know of that it's like... You know how when you have a um, commercial for a medicine and it gives you all this long list of side effects? This isn't necessarily side effects, but it's stuff to keep in mind before using it. Um, this is the only one that I really know of that has this many. Like, there's a lot of different things to keep in mind when using marjoram. Um, it's good for joint and muscle health. <clears throat> um, it is good for high blood pressure because it does thin the blood, helps blood pressure, bring blood pressure down. Um, it's good for bronchitis. <clears throat> it's also good Anybody for... Got time for that? <clears throat> it's also good... I got bronchitis. It's also good for um, cold sores and ringworm. Um, the herpes and the worm. <laughs> you got the herpes. <laughs> it's good for anxiety. It's also good for gas and constipation. <laughs> Promotes healthy heart function. You need a squatty potty, dude. <laughs> and it's also good for your nervous system as well. <clears throat> so that's a double thing. So if you come home with the herpes and you're afraid to tell your significant other, you take some marjoram because it'll help cure the herpes. 
No! Hey. Don't say that! You can't say that. You're not allowed to say that. Okay, that's not Even though you're joking, you can't say that. Okay. I didn't not mean a cure. cure. It's not a cure. Treat. It'll help not treat the a treat. It'll and treat your anxiety. Help. It helps. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> alright. So now on to one of the oils that I haven't really covered because my pocketbook can't afford it. Um, Melissa. I don't There's think we got oil. anybody named Melissa. In here. There is an oil named Melissa. Yeah. And the I, funny thing is... I think I dated a girl named Melissa once. Probably a couple of them. I mean, you dated quite a few. <laughs> yeah, they all suck. You kind of got around. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> Melissa is made from lemon balm. Brown chicken brown. Okay. So, <laughs> I always tell people, if you can't afford the oil, which a lot of people can't afford the oil can always make an extract. You can make your own. Or, or a tincture <laughs> um, from <clears throat> the lemon balm. That's what we're going to do. We oh. have lemon balm growing right now. Um, <laughs> this is the man who told us to behave in the chat. I know, right? Yeah. Oh. My house, my rule. All right, good night, Teresa. Teresa says she gotta go, gotta go to bed. It's the lemongrass. Mm -hmm. Saving up for Melissa with my points. I, I just don't, I don't feel justified in, in spending it. I just, there's so many other oils out there that do really well that I just don't. I'll try and make a tincture out of it and see how that works. And then if it's just that great, then I'll do the oil. But I just, that's a, a lot of money. A tincture? Oh, you said tink shirt. No, I didn't. I said yes, a tincture. Did. Yes, you did. Said pink shirt. I think you need to go get your keys and clean your ears out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Melissa oil is. Oh yeah, you don't like it when it's a pinchy pinchy it's done to you. Oh, pinchy pinchy. <laughs> Wait a minute, you better be careful. Wow. I'm just saying, better be careful because it's like coming. It her. <laughs> yeah, you don't like it when it's done to you, fam. Do you? I'm gonna get your inner thigh when you least expect it, and boy, is it gonna hurt. You go sing like a little girl. Okay, so I'll behave. I promise. <laughs> I promise I'll behave. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop! What? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> they <sighs> in the drive. <laughs> all right. So, Melissa oil can be done all three ways. Aromatic and, um... Okay, so Amy's going to school us because I love Amy. Tinctures are great, but the beauty behind Melissa EO Hold on, Amy, is the stand high, up when you talk to us, Amy. Stand is the up. high concentration of it. Yes, I get the idea that it's an essential oil, so it's going to be a higher potency. I get that. Um, lemon balm releases a lot of liquid which can dull down its potency in a tincture. That's fine. I just, it's just really high. At least for me right now, I'm not in a place where I can afford to get that when I have several other oils that work. I mean, we didn't us. star in our own TV show, Amy. <laughs> Smurfs. La, la. <laughs> you, you need to go sit in the corner again. <laughs> See what the basil does to you? <laughs> oh, it's coming. <laughs> I give you some patchouli and that'll make your mouth close. <laughs> give <me> some patchouli. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they are the same way in person. Yes, we are. <laughs> we are no different. We don't play... <laughs> We don't play other persona on TV, do we? <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Every time I say that, that's all I hear. There are a lot of other herbs and oils you can use that don't cost as much. Exactly. I that's know, and thing. that's why we're buying your book, Amy. Yeah, that was we were talking about that uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Because we saw an herb book in the bookstore, and Robin Jason wanted to, wanted get... to buy it, and I was like, no, I want to buy Amy's book. I knew he was going to try and say that. No. We, we went and looked at one, and he's like, he's like, look at this. And it was like herbal remedies or something like that. And I was like, no, I'm not buying that book. I'm waiting until Amy's book comes out, and then I'll get it. <laughs> Did you two use the passion rollerball before the show? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's more like the motivate. <laughs> 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 you 
anything to drink and look at how much you made me laugh my sh my, my my cheeks are really red okay so melissa is good for colds cold sores <laughs> kiwi said crab on a cracker she just looked at the price yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's rough and that's yep. your wholesale price look at the retail get word to your mother okay i love when she says crap on a cracker that is so <laughs> funny to me every time i see it um hmm. this is good for colds Cold sores and the herps. The herps. <laughs> Good for the herps. Good for the herps. <laughs> Suburban, I'm working on it. She said, I'm waiting for someone to put out her ebook. Hey, so here's the funny part. I started working on it, and that's great. And then they came out with Capiva. Now I'm going to have to go back and change it. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh, anyway. But yeah, we're working. I'm working on it. Um, every week, I'm putting a lot of good stuff together. So. Um, I've been saving my points for almost six months. Exactly. Like, this is not a cheapy oil. And, even more importantly, one thing I didn't even mention. It's a five milliliter. Look. Look, y'all. Here's the bottle. Five milliliters. Not 15. Five. So, this is one of those little bottles. I think I just messed up. What did you Big do? Time. Did you put some in your eye? Oh, well, I used my booger finger that we was putting it on and rubbed my eye. <laughs> Did you get it in your eye, baby? Oh. Oh, you poor child. So Holy crap on a cracker. Yeah, so Melissa Oil Retail is $180. I think everybody in chat bought me to buy that. For one. wholesale, it's $135. But oh. even at wholesale, $135, that is crazy. Really, really crazy. Um, okay, so done with Melissa. No, we're not done with Melissa. I'm done she's, with her. I broke not. up with her a long time ago. <laughs> Um, this is really good. And now this is where people um, might want to use. Well, it's not like helichrysum. Helichrysum's cheaper, considerably cheaper than Melissa. It's like forty dollars cheaper, fifty dollars. It's cheap compared to helichrysum. I mean, helichrysum. But see, here's the thing. Helichrysum to me is worth the money. Now maybe when I get Melissa, if I ever get Melissa. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be able to say that it's worth the money. I just haven't used it. And Amy, if Amy has used it, Amy might tell you that it's something worth purchasing. But at this moment in time, $135 wholesale, I can get several oils that I need. I mean, that's like four bottles of Capiba for me. That's worth it, you know, to do to use other stuff than that one for me. Um, it's good for depression, anxiety, shock. Um, it's also good for hypertension vertigo, eczema, indigestion, and fever and viral infections. So this might be one of those that you buy and put up on a shelf and just hold on to it until crap hits the fan and then you viral use it. Viral infections. Yeah. So, oh, she was saying it because like a five milliliter bottle. Yeah, yeah, and the deep blue. Like the deep blue bottle is a five milliliter bottle. They're smaller. Sand, what is sand red maybe? I don't know. Anyway, there are, there are a couple of them that are five milliliter. All right, so the next one, my favorite, oregano. No, you're not going to put that one in your mouth. I love you too much. Average person won't use Melissa ever. It's a high-potency EO geared more towards people with diseases like Lyme disease and cancer. There you go. <clears throat> How much lemon balm would that be? Oh, I'm sure it takes quite a bit. More than you could grow down here. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's it takes quite a bit and then the whole distillation distillation process um would be bad as well the, you figure for a five mil or well, really for any type of essential oil they're growing acres upon acres yeah i don't i mean they have to well i don't know that it's acres but whatever it is it acres. takes it takes a lot to be able to do it um <laughs> armpit right jason i think i'm about ready to let you try that again since you you've learned so much more just we'll do, make sure we because do I got I got you know another you one coming, coming Use up the, right here. and this is where it comes in right here y'all right here Jason why don't you try the rollerball because then I could do that myself and I want you to touch me <laughs> that's just because you want to touch you want me to touch you mm -hmm. <laughs> 
But I, I think we will try it. If you're if you're game, okay. we'll try it again, but we'll do it the right way this time. So oregano, um, oregano, you can buy 15 milliliter bottle. This is another really good option. This is a 10 milliliter roll on. And what's great about this is it's already pre-diluted um, with with a roll on. With, so that means you can use it as a deodorant. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's um, fractionated coconut oil um, in there. So <clears throat> that's one. So and Amy makes a good point. You know, she, you're talking about people. This is such a high potency EO. This is for people who have some serious diseases where the bill the medications that they would be buying would be super super expensive 135 or whatever dollars wouldn't be and there she's saying lots of studies were done with melissa on lyme disease she has a brother-in-law who has it and it helps a lot so that's cool um jatan that's what we use the oregano rollerball for when the kids get sick it's really easy the last time we all got sick within 24 hours of each other and we were both too sick to like play doctor to the kids so this oregano was a godsend because i could hand them the bottle and just say roll it on your feet i don't have to worry about diluting True. it because it's already done you know that was huge and the breathe is the same way we have a breathe roller uh, roll on that you don't have to worry about it <clears throat> being too overpowering with all of those potent oils that are in that blend um, it's already pre-diluted as well and that works out really well Look who's here. Fluffy ninjas in the house. Everybody hide your knees. <laughs> no knees in here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. 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 Next one. Oregano oil. Definitely need to dilute. Be very, 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 very careful with this one. It Don't burn. It will burn you. It will burn you. You can get second degree burns from this stuff. soon i must have like two years you still up that with me oh no 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 what are you gonna do to me what are you <laughs> don't you put your tongue in my ear i hate that you know i do okay 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 um if you're pregnant don't use it um it can decrease and it all it can so, also nanda nanda stay john can't use this because he's pregnant <laughs> um also, it can decrease the body's absorption to iron. So, if you're anemic. <laughs> you're going to get us unmonetized because you just sang that. Um, okay, so that one. Uh, be careful if you're anemic because it's going to decrease how much your body absorbs iron now anemic that means if you get a paper cut you're gonna die right no anemic is you're low in iron oh that's not me no okay so oregano is cleansing and purifying um when they did the iron test with me they took that one drop of blood and it went straight to the bottom it'll help with respiratory issues if you take internally um it's an antioxidant <clears throat> pregnant with biscuits <laughs> Engrave it. It's also antifungal and it's a vermifuge. Big word. What does vermifuge mean? It gets rid of the vermin. <laughs> Close. Ooh. Oh, no. Don't feel bad. I meant to put lavender in the tub last week and I accidentally grabbed peppermint. Yeah, that's not fun. Is that why he craves cornbread? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't eat that cornbread. Hey, is John there? He probably is. He's probably not. Right there. But... <laughs> um, so, vermifuge. What does vermifuge mean? So, yeah, does anybody know what vermifuge means? Short term memory, Bubba. Tell me in my ear. <laughs> You're so bad. <laughs> he said dirty words. Uh, yeah, Bass is moving to Georgia. I know, we're going to have... I'm back. What oil are we discussing? Right now, we're talking about oregano. 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 Burn your nipples off. Okay, does anybody know? Nobody is at, nobody's answering me. Nobody knows what vermifuge means. Vermifuge. Wait a minute, stop. We use it for Apollo. Yes. Because 
When we use it for Apollo, we're using it as a vermifuge. He's sitting here, right here. He says hello. There you go. Well, not a not a wormer, but a dewormer. Dewormer. <laughs> we don't want to add the worms. We want to get rid of them. <laughs> so a dewormer. Hello. It's a dewormer, <laughs> Daniel. It was hot. I will not make that mistake again. The face burning oil. <laughs> You uh, Marines love to pick on each other, don't you? Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, a dewormer. Yes, yes, there we go. Dewormer, yes. So, very, very potent. I give to the dogs for, yep, kills worms. Exactly right. Kills parasites. What a vermifuge means is it kills parasites, not just dewormer specific, but kills parasites. Um, so, so this if is... I took oregano and went to my ex-wife's house and poured it in there, no, it wouldn't kill her. Wouldn't kill her. Oh, I didn't say that. Not really. She she, she doesn't leech off of us anymore. Usually, uh, okay, so parasite is the next the next one. Now we got about forty minutes. We're good. Okay, skin eating oil. <laughs> okay, the next one is patchouli. Patchouli. I'm really scared to give you patchouli. Really, really, really Come on. scared. It's a rule. If I can taste um, it, I need Terry, to I think so, but some of my cat people tell me. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It might not be, though, because... Robin, I was referring to my mistake, not Jenkins. Oh, 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 that's right. She did. That's right. She she did use it. In it. Oh, my God, I want it again. Okay, there we go. Oh, ugh. No to cats. There you go. No cats. Don't use it on cats. <laughs> I forgot how bad this one was. <laughs> Jason, want to eat crayons with me? <laughs> mm. This is the one where your mouth's going to start to feel like it's closing in. Oh, this is the fungoid <laughs> oil. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't... <laughs> Out of Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna drink your water. No, you're not. You drink, you drink that water. water. Oh. Okay, it's high in. So oregano is high in phenols and terpenoids, which ca cats cannot properly digest. Due to a lack of digestive enzymes in their liver, this can result in a toxic reaction. So definitely don't use. Thank you very much. I knew there was. <coughs> A couple that they weren't really supposed to have oh. so that was one of them thank you kitty appreciate that okay so patchouli no contraindications known of um you can use this one neat mm. <laughs> how your lips feel honey <laughs> this oil is definitely used a lot um for mood management it's grounding and balancing it helps with anxiety <clears throat> it also helps with dopamine levels um yeah feels like he licked a dirty hippie <laughs> yeah stop gargling you're gonna spread it <laughs> he didn't even get a full drop y'all he got like half a drop um it also Here helps my promote lips starting to shrink into my face I don't remember all about this freaking oil now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, this helps promote healthy skin. It helps with fluid retention. Mm. <laughs> also helps with body odor, ironically. And all those stinky hippies. That's why you smell patchouli all the time, so you didn't smell their stinky B.O. And um, it helps with... <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> don't touch me. I love you, baby. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. This is you purposely. Mm. Why do you think I told him to get it? I didn't realize you didn't know. I forgot. <laughs> Short term memory. Love it. <laughs> I love you. I'll kiss you.
I bet that would I bet that one would be good for hemorrhoids, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Helps tighten everything up. <laughs> so the hip yeah, so the hippies were actually onto something with the body odor, yeah. So it helped to keep body low body odor low, if not um neutralize it a little bit. Alright, next one is peppermint. Yeah, I'm done. I think I'm done tasting oils. I'm about to blow cookies. Yeah, you're not supposed to drink. You don't need to taste anymore. Hmm. I'll tell you, you want a reaction? We'll give you I'll I'll sacrifice for you, baby, since you sacrificed for me. What? What are you gonna do? Okay. Blaze is still cutting up that other hand. She said yeah. it as I was trying to remember how to spell it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so with peppermint, um, <clears throat> you're pregnant, you need to be careful with this one. Also be careful with high blood pressure. Um, as far as with peppermint, also this can reduce lactation. So if you're breastfeeding and you're wanting to slow down your milk supply, you can use this for that. What, peppermint? Mm hmm What do you do? You just rub it on your breasts? Mm hmm Okay. Mm hmm I probably need to do that this evening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get I get in the hot shower, it's like it's <laughs> <laughs> awful. Mm -hmm. And I still get awful looks when I breastfeed in public. I just think it's just wrong. It's natural. <laughs> People just look at me funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so peppermint helps with alertness and focus, obviously because of the smell, it kind of wake you up. Um, it helps with headaches. The baby bites on the nipple, that'll wake you up. Like, bad, Hello. bad breath. <laughs> so if you had multiple kids and want that surgery to tighten, you could opt for patchouli. That with a yeah, I don't know about that one. Um, I'm assuming you're talking about, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, I use peppermint oil for headaches. Yeah, so a lot of people use peppermint for headaches, bad breath, um, asthma, gastric pain, indigestion. Um, my daughter uses it for motion sickness. Jason uses it for his really bad... Um, his really bad uh, reflux issues that causes hiccups. Mama, um, you need to check your oil box if this is dripping or um, okay. or okay. See, cause like that's the oil from the that was spilled all over the place. Okay. Oh, that's that was an experiment. Mm mm, it's not an experiment. And I just put it in my mouth. I hope it was something you're supposed to ingest. Hey. Okay, that. so the other really More big thing feast. that I use me? peppermint for, I use you just peppermint for hot flashes. So when I get hot flashes, peppermint works really, 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 really good for that. Um, <clears throat> when I have hot flashes, I just take off my clothes. <laughs> What's best for sinus pressure type of headaches? Ooh. And then everybody else is like, ooh, that's hot. And so, basil's it's one to try, Tangie. Um, basil helps open up your nasal passage. So, that might help with sinus pressure as far as to help and how alleviate you know that's, stuff. Tangie, how do you know that's not my home, home dog, Jackie? I mean, it could be Jackie, but... Chicks before. You know, you guys got bros before. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and breathe, okay, so breathe is really good because it also helps with sinus issues. I don't know about the pressure, but the thing with breathe, that's a good call, Winter. Um, breathe has peppermint in it, and it also has eucalyptus in it, with which, um, <clears throat> the peppermint and the eucalyptus both are good for just regular headaches anyways. So, this would help open things up. It is Jack, look at that! Good call. <laughs> so Jack, as far as um, that's my dog. As far as sinus pressure goes, um, those are what I would recommend. I can look up some other things for you. Um, Angie's probably out busting a cat. Well, you know. You know she's packing. <laughs> yes. Aren't we all? Some more than others. Some more than others. Okay. So peppermint is good for hot flashes. 
So start feeling, you know, burning up. Peppermint by itself is also a good one. Can you use breathe? I don't know with the, what was the one? Terry, we'll have to look up the ingredients. I'm thinking there's one in there that you can't use. So I'll have to check. Vina got me a bottle of breathe for my birthday. Saved me and the kids a few times. I'll tell you, that breathe bottle is fantastic. Um, and, and I also, I love the roller ball. I, I can't say enough about the roller balls. Um, they work really well for, um, especially for children when you're using for application for kids. <clears throat> Cayenne pepper helps me with congestion. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> this is Tangie. You know me so well, Jason. Thank you. So it's both of them, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, eucalyptus. I thought that was, I, I didn't think huh? you could use. You're almost out of dew. Okay, thank you. Your dew goes out just in my face. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, a few people I know who breathe has helped with recovering from flu, COPD, asthma, head colds. Um, another one possibly to think about would be, Tangie's here and Emily says hi also. Um, so the other thing that's also good for respiratory, um, Kitty reminded me of that, is Capiba. Capiba is another really good one for um, respiratory issues. So that might be another Emily one to think about. In the house. Um, I put a few drops on the filter pad on my CPAP. I've heard of that, but you gotta be really careful. <laughs> the glue stick, yay! Yes, Mark does love the glue stick. He's ordered a couple of those. Um, breathe, the doTERRA makes a glue, glue stick. It's a vapor stick. Um, and so you can use it to apply. You can also um, use it just to inhale. Like, if you want to just open it up and smell it, you can do that one as well. Tanchi says she's missed us. We miss them, too. You miss your you miss your Jackie and... With their home stuff. <laughs> you know, she's like... She's laughing right now. Oh, well, not right now. Like, in about 20, 20 seconds. <laughs> um, all right. So, the next one... I watched that show to get the WWE updates. To use is Rosemary. Rosemary, you have to be careful. Um, pregnancy, epilepsy, um, high blood pressure, definitely don't use this. And yes, Kitty, I agree. Capiba seems to help with just about everything. They What's diffuse, up? they diffuse, uh, breathe in the bedroom, in the bedroom at, night. at night. It, it can. John stinks. No. He probably says the from same eat, about from you. eating cornbread. He <laughs> <laughs> okay, rosemary, hu huge, powerful antioxidant. Like, seriously powerful. I don't have any. Oh, yeah, I do have it. Because I've been using this. You said you weren't going to have any more. Are you sure? Because this one's strong, too. Like, super strong. Strong like bull. Super strong. Here. Yeah. I told you. <laughs> you saw me say, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one might make me blow. Just hang on. How can something that smells so good and tastes so good in spaghetti... <laughs> because it's concentrated, honey. That's the thing. Like, that's what people have to realize with essential oils, especially the ones that are pure. Um, they mm. are super, super strong. And that's the thing. That, then that article we were talking about cats and babies too is you have to understand that when you're using an essential oil, you are literally taking the the stuff in that herb or whatever plant that is effective and constant, highly concentrating it. So you have to be really, 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 really careful with these oils. You might need to dilute them or not ingest them pure like that. Maybe dilute it. So this is an example with the, with the rosemary. You definitely... Stop. You definitely want to use just a very small bit when you're doing, like, if you're it's cooking. It's almost Velociraptor time. If you're cooking with rosemary, 
Definitely oh, use a wooden, my eyes water. wooden toothpick, just a little bit at a time. Okay? Don't do, don't be a bear. <laughs> uh, powerful antioxidant. It's good for reducing inflammation. Um, it helps with hair growth. So that's what you're feeling on the roof of your mouth right now. <laughs> um, oh, it also helps with prostate health. So you're good. <laughs> It smells like trees. <laughs> <laughs> this is good for cancer support as well. There's been some... Um... See, that's why I taste all these oils. Because all these oils kill cancer. So I ain't got to worry about it. See, I grew up in my in a home where my old man smoked and he just didn't care. Mm -hmm. And He's killed a couple dogs that way. Yeah. And guess what? I don't want the, I don't want the big C. Mm -hmm. So I'm tasting oils. Support. To make sure it doesn't happen right so. it's also good for memory which we do use um we diffuse rosemary and lemon a lot in um in our ah, there was some on the cat <laughs> <laughs> oh! <Man>. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm not getting up. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> mm. so, 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, this is really good for memory. <laughs> <laughs> Detox and also tension and fatigue. <laughs> okay, everybody. <laughs> okay, the now, next see, every one. time I lick my lips now, dead gummit. Okay, so this will tell you. Okay, so this will tell you. <laughs> 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 okay, so this will tell you how much I do not like this oil can you hand me my book because i'm gonna have to call an audible mm. which one um that oil life one the essential life one okay so <clears throat> this next oil i have a very adverse reaction to i mean i don't like it so much the smell of it makes me sick to my stomach so much that That's why I can't believe it's you right can't here. see it in my notes, but this is spearmint. You see all these little ones that have these notes next to them? Do you see that I literally skipped over it and didn't do any research on spearmint? <laughs> like, that is how much I don't like this oil. I literally, I literally looked at it and it was like, I just... I don't know what's on there. You don't need to touch it. Okay, but I'm no, going to smell this. No. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Because of how you've been all night. No. I'm going to smell it. You ready? <laughs> I'm not moving. <laughs> See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Talking about our discussion earlier. Do what you want to do. Now it's going to be on your fingers. <laughs> At least I didn't put it on my nose. No. Mm. So spearmint. And see, so do I. I mm. love the smell of spearmint. So. And my kids, my kids love spearmint. Bla gum. Especially Blaze, he will pound a whole pack of spearmint gum. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like everybody in my house loves. What's up, Jack? The smell of spearmint. But it makes me want to vomit. <laughs> 
mm, and it gets in the back of my throat and like I can still smell it um it's the reason why I think I didn't take um a lot of time to do <clears throat> notes on it is because all of the stuff is very similar to peppermint um it's good for indigestion nausea colic um <clears throat> it's, spearmint to me is a good smoothing smell uh, well smell and too. what they say is that it's actually a smoother smell than peppermint like peppermint's super super strong like boo <laughs> But spearmint is supposed to be a little bit sweeter and not mm -hmm. as, right, and not as potent. What are those smelling. little candies that come out at Christmas time that you can make the, 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 the Christmas trees with? You can, and, and they're, they're spearmint candies. They're like green and red. Oh, the ones that have like the little ribbons or what? It, I don't know if they got ribbons, but we used to make, oh, mm -hmm. this would tell you how poor we were. Mama used to have like a. a are you talking about like the peppermint uh, ones, but they're green instead no. of red? No? No, they're little candies. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and Mama used to have a like a styrofoam. She took some styrofoam and cut like a cone out of it. And we used to take toothpicks and put these little candies on them, mm -hmm. and then push mm -hmm. them into that tree. And that would be one of the things that we mm. made at Christmas time. Of course, I'd always get my butt whooped because I'd eat ninety percent of them. So because yeah, if you if you want to see me hurl, <clears throat> we used to do that and the um, popcorn <clears throat> cranberry. Around mm -hmm. the tree. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm very gum drops. Okay, yeah, I I don't do. I love them. I don't do spearmint. I mean, like, I'll I'll give you an example of how much of an adverse reaction I have to this. They were putting all my oils together, and one of the kids accidentally it it knocked over, <clears throat> and so there was spearmint that had spilled in the house. Now keep in mind, this had spilled hours before I came home and I literally walked in the door opened the door got the whiff of it and closed the door and went back outside and I didn't come back in for a while they had to diffuse something else mm -hmm. to make <clears throat> to make me not want to vomit everywhere so mm. um it's good for bad breath uh bronchitis, respiratory, same kind of things that peppermint's good for, stress. This one also says it helps with menses as well. So, mm -hmm. things to keep in mind. <laughs> um, it also says it's, de it's decent helping for acne, sores, and scars. Now, again, I wouldn't know because I, I really can't. Like, I, I mean, I bought it just because I knew we needed to have it in the house as an alternative to the peppermint. And it stays under almost lock and key at my house. <laughs> like, it stays up high on a shelf. They're not allowed to grab it unless they need it for something. And then even then, it's outside. It's not used in the house. Like, it's just one of those oils that I can't, I can't have it around <clears throat> me. Make me sick. Um, okay, last one. We got about 17 minutes, so we're good. Um, thyme oil. Um, it is another hot oil, so you definitely need to dilute this one as well. If you are pregnant or you have high blood pressure, do not use this oil. You have to be very careful. This one is also very good at cleansing and purifying the skin. Um, it repels insects. So this is another one of those. A lot of people use companion gardening. They'll plant... <clears throat> time around other this herb around other stuff to um repel insects um it's good for the cold and flu <clears throat> it's good um for <clears throat> low blood pressure to help bring your blood pressure up so again if you're if you have high blood pressure be careful with this oil um it's also good for fatigue stress and depression sore or pain in your muscles <clears throat> And it's also, um, one of the notes I said, said it was good for MRSA. So, uh, this is another oil. And again, this is one you can cook with. Um, all of these you can cook with, with the exception of lemongrass. Now, I know people who use lemongrass in their tea. Um, I don't use, <clears throat> I use just about every one of these except for spearmint. Um, we do, um, 
We use thyme and rosemary, all of the um, Italian herbs we use whenever we're doing spaghetti sauce, things like that, lasagna. I, w I just wish you could <clears throat> use the spearmint oil and make me some spearmint cookies. Well, I mean, you could. It's just not going to be when I'm around. Yeah, okay. But I use, and I know everybody, just about everybody knows this, that um, I use the peppermint um, when I was making the thin mints. Um, I learned I learned how to make thin mints. I gained 10 pounds. When and we used, yeah, because we made so many of them. I mean, like, we kept trying to get them. No, the, um, what was good for MRSA, that was thyme. Um, so, thyme is good for MRSA. At least that's, and I'm sure there are some of them. Um, <clears throat> as far as the um, peppermint, I used peppermint to make the uh thin mints and we used it not just in the cookie itself but also in the chocolate that you dip them in we put the thin mint i mean we put the peppermint in that as well and that worked out really really well like i'm almost convinced that the girl scouts use peppermint oil instead of peppermint extract mm -hmm. because i mean <clears throat> that was like it made all the difference because we difference. made so many different batches of that trying to make it it was taste so the best. Oh, they were so good. Yeah, and the peppermint extract was good, but it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same. But then when we flipped over and went to the peppermint oil, oh. that was it. And we put it in the cookie sweet one baby, time. Sweet baby Jesus just came down and he touched the batter. We put it in the <laughs> We put it in the cookie batter and, and that was good. Chocolate. But then when we put it in the so dipping chocolate, and that was like the best. The bomb dog. So, so that's if you're gonna try and make thin mints, um, we did a video on it. But it that peppermint oil is fantastic. Like that's the best way to do it. And you think you're putting too much in, but it cooks out a little bit. So, yeah, they were really good. We need to make some of this. No, no. we don't. No, we don't. No, <laughs> no we don't. I agree. I make chocolate peppermint crinkle cookies and they taste like thin mints. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Like the, the peppermint oil is what mm -hmm. makes it. I mean, oh. Mm hmm. It's really good. I'm trying just, to think. I just gained three pounds just thinking about it. What <laughs> other recipes can you think of that we've used? We use the cilantro a lot. Mm -hmm. We use the oregano. Now, we don't cook with patchouli either. We don't use patchouli in anything. Um. But peppermint, we use that a lot. We use rosemary a lot. We use thyme. We don't use, don't use the spearmint. Mm. No, that's making my stomach curl. So is that the end of the that. class? That is the end of the class. End of the class. End of the class. End of the class. So next week, I think we're going to talk about the citrus oils. I think. I'm not sure yet. Okay. I should know tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But I think... <clears throat> um, We'll make, we'll do... I'm going to Terry's house. We need an oven. I know, I'm working on it. I know we need an oven. I'm working on Our it. Our oven's been out for months. We've been cooking out of a roaster oven. Okay, Which anyway. I could, I could cook out of the roaster oven, but I just, I'm not sure. Just sure. I add peppermint to vanilla ice cream. Ooh. And you know, I believe mm. that. It helps settle the tummy. Peppermint is fantastic for, for tummy issues. What? That, that sounds good. Yeah, I bet it would be really good. I bet that would oh, be fantastic. Joshua. Joshua, Joshua. I bet it would be really good in chocolate <gasps> ice cream. Stop. 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 They make carb ice cream. We could go get some. Mm -mm. Walmart run. We gotta go Walmart anyway. <laughs> so no answer for poor old Jack. He did. He did. I did. You. I said come, come on. on. Anytime. That's what this was. That All right, was so fun. we got about 10 minutes. So this is a time for you to... <laughs> Karina said your reaction to spearmint is my reaction to peppermint. <laughs> this is a time that mm. you get to mm. ask the questions that you have. So while we're waiting... Remember, all caps. Put it in all caps. So while we're waiting on the first question, I want to talk about something. Uh-oh. It's eight months away. Eight months? Mm-hmm. That's a little more than eight. It's like eight and a half. Eight and a half. Mm-hmm. 
the chocolate chip, yeah. The second annual mm-hmm. Homesteaders of America conference. Mm -hmm. It's coming. It it's, is coming. It's going to be basically it's a three day event. Basically. If you pay for it. If you pay for it. Yep. You got classes on Thursday. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. Workshops. Classes. Workshops. Whatever. Hands on. Hands on. Okay. Now you got um, a blacksmithing workshop. Mm -hmm. You've got a <laughs> early workshop with dyeing wool and spinning it and there's uh, there's stuff, a stuff. there's a rabbit workshop. Mm -hmm. There's a what else is there? Fermenting. Fermenting. Mm -hmm. There's a canning. Canning. Mm -hmm. And there's the did you say blacksmithing? Yes. Okay. All of them. I think there's really just one awesome. Oh, there is another one. There's an awesome. What is that one? There's gonna be the awesome. This one that I'm getting ready to talk about mm -hmm. is just gonna be totally awesome. <laughs> um, it is a predator control on the homestead type class. Mm -hmm. type? type. It is. It is yeah. the class. The class. Mm -hmm. To be at now. Mm -hmm. It's going to be one of the more expensive classes to take. Yes. But. But in that class, you're getting me. <laughs> and that's enough right there. No. 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 Okay. Well, you got you got a whole day with me. Mm-hmm. Nine to four, I believe, is the time frame. Okay. Get a break in Don't. the middle for lunch. <clears throat> then, then, watch this. Oh, <laughs> uh, you will get a predator control. For the homestead starter kit. Mm -hmm. This will be. <clears throat> it's in. It'll have some traps in it and some other little surprises that we're not telling anybody about. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. See, that's the problem. I know because I want to take Joshua's <laughs> class. Well, we'll just have to hook up with Joshua at some other time and we'll exchange but, classes. <laughs> and, and so we're, you're going to get that, and then I'm also putting together kind of a. Uh, cheaters workbook yeah so it's thing. gonna be like a workbook slash handbook ish kind of thing where yeah. while you're taking the class there'll be places to put notes mm -hmm. um if there's something that you feel that was important that's not in the book that he covers in the class you'll be able yeah. to put that yeah. and here's the main kicker of the difference because we'll we'll have that little book for sale at the conference mm -hmm. but the p important thing is going to be the notes that you guys take during the class plus right. I am still burping oils. Mm -hmm. Plus, you're going to get hands-on experience with a trapper mm -hmm. and probably my son there um, <clears throat> making sure that you are holding your hands right, yeah. placing the triggers <clears throat> right. All of the traps that you're going... Basically, the traps you're going to be talking about, we're going to send you home with the two... Well four of them, mm -hmm. but two of them that are pretty important to learn how um, and one to of set. Them, one of them is extremely important because mm -hmm. this one trap is going to be used 99% of the time. Mm -hmm. Because this one trap is going to catch the ones that are going to be more um, after your birds and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, so like uh, Amy says there, if you want more information, if you go to homesteadersofamerica.com, um, it mentions the, all the workshops and the details on all of those. Um, but we're pretty excited. But these, I mean, all these, all joking aside, <clears throat> all of these workshops are essential, mm -hmm. essential, essential workshops. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, here's the thing. And I'm not just saying this because it's my workshop. But in all honesty, mine's probably the most important class. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because sooner or later, you're going to have a predator issue. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to know how to deal with that. You can kind of fumble through canning. You can kind of fumble through fermenting. But this, my, my class, not so much. 
You could lose a finger. <laughs> lose a I tried to do that traveling stuff by myself. You know, it'd be like trying to fumble through like Josh's class. Josh's mm -hmm. is another, another one, one that's a hands-on. That, that is definitely oh. a good thing for now. And the me, yarn let, one is like that too. Me, if you ever want to do that kind of stuff, it's Josh's, definitely. Josh's, let me rephrase because I said that wrong. Josh's class and my class, more dude oriented. Right. And that's another thing because that, it, the canning it, and the fermenting mm -hmm. and the I mean, spinning I'm not trying wool, to be I'm not trying to be the sexist thing, no. that person here, but Josh's class, my class is more for the kind of for, for the, the guys. For the guys. Mm -hmm. For the husbands and stuff. And then all the other ones is more female. Driven, driven, more oriented towards. Now, that's not to say you're not going to have some guys in the canning class, yeah. or you might have some women in the trapping and forging class. That's both yeah. of those amazing. I want completely. women in my class. Really? Yes, <laughs> I do. Yeah. Well, especially because a lot of times, um, yeah, and that's the thing is the classes will be important to different people. Mm -hmm. Some people don't have any interest in predator control. Right. But I've seen who's teaching the classes, and I'm the best looking. I know that. <laughs> I know who's you're, teaching I think all the you're other a classes. Little, I think you're a little prejudiced. I'm the best looking one there. <laughs> then you probably got Josh. Josh come, or, See, yeah, I never huh? really met Josh, so. No? I mean, yeah, I'm the best looking. Yeah, well, you keep I telling yourself best. that confidence is sexy. Mm -hmm. I'm the best looking. <laughs> yeah, and I think Amy's done a really good job of She's done an awesome job picking the all different of ones because each one of these classes is mm -hmm. solely separate from the others. Like, you're definitely going to pick different types of people mm -hmm. coming for something that's truly important to what they want to do on their homestead. And I think what, I, what I'm what I'm what I'm trying to <laughs> Josh is pretty cute. What I'm Jason. trying to say is is um with the the spinning of the wool i'm not mm -hmm. trying to take anything away from no. those classes but those classes um you could kind of I, I mean no i disagree i think what i think the bigger thing to say about this is that with yours predator you hurt with predator control right. not only can you get hurt now and I could even argue with the with the canning. You you know there are some safety issues like no, your pressure, pressure canning. canning yeah. You know or hot even hot water bath. You you gotta be careful. Okay, let me. I'll rephrase it this way. Josh's class and my class, we are a dying trade. Okay. Well, mm, even canning. I don't know. No, I think I think you just love yourself. <laughs> it's I not think... that. It's not that I love myself. It, it's just. I'm looking at it from from a perspective of there's still people alive that love to share canning. This is very true, and I think trappers don't. Sh lot, most of your trappers don't share. Now another thing too that I'm just digging a hole. Is, shut up. Is something that well, uh, one thing that is important with predator control, you could be losing a lot if you don't mm -hmm. have this skill. Yeah. So if you run livestock. This is something that's truly important because you could lose chickens and, and, and before you can even Google how to do something and figure it out on your own, you've lost your entire flock. Yep. So I guess that's the thing that you have to be, you have to, to think of. That's the, the people that come to this class are going to be the ones that have livestock that are worried about mm -hmm. possibly potential predator, predator issues. Uh, on one, one of the things, predator control... Yeah, is... Th and that's what I was getting ready to say. Homesteaders are a dying breed in general, mm -hmm. so all of these skills that we're talking about are all a dying breed. So, anyway, what were you getting ready to yeah. say? I guess when I look at the, the, the classes, mm -hmm. and I rank them in levels of, but I don't, no. you know, I'm just going to stop talking yeah. because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dig myself a hole and people are going to get mad at me. You don't want to upset anybody. I don't want, I'm not it trying to take anything away that. from every, anybody's class. Um... But yours is one that is not as relevant, prevalent. No, no prevalent. What, what, what I think what you're trying to say is, is that like canning, fermenting, um, even wool spinning, you see a lot of that in discussion. Like you'll see a lot of people talking about canning. You'll see a lot of people talking about fermenting now. Like those are big things. Just sign there's up for not all the nearly, classes. There's not nearly as many people talking about trapping. you have a large family, trapping. you have, you have the dad come. There you go to my class. Mm -hmm. You have the oldest son go to the blacksmithing class. And then the, the women? The, the wife goes to the wool class. 
Because it's a little bit more. And then your daughters, you spread them out. Yeah, you could do that too. So we got to go make some more babies. No, they won't be ready in time for the conference. Oh, they're fast learners. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I think Jason's just trying to self promote a little bit. No. All of the classes, Amy did an awesome job picking some of the best people in their field to do these. Do we, is it public on who's all coming to speak? Mm-hmm. Is it, Amy, is it okay? Oh, to, to speak at the classes. That, I think they're still tentatively trying to kind of go up with that. But it is 9 o'clock. So, we're going to go ahead and kind of, and that, again... That we'll just kind of leave it. it. The chat's correct. Like you don't see as many classes on trapping as you all do the cla all the classes are good. Mm -hmm. the, uh, they're I all mean, great. They're, they're, they're great. They're classes. great. And every person that teaches in their class thinks is like is like me. They think that their class is, mm -hmm. is going to be awesome. Well, but and the I'm, thing is, is I'm, I'm that, still talking. I'm I was still there. talking. I'm Amy chose class. like people that are very very good at their specific the thing that they're teaching about. Um, they're all, I, I always hate to say that they're, they're experts, they're, they're but professional they're professional in, in, their area. in their area. So you are not going to miss You're not going to go wrong with any, with of, any of the classes mm -hmm. that you choose. They're all professional. Mm -hmm. I'm just the best looking. <laughs> they all just play to specific skills and likes, and mm -hmm. that's exactly what it boils down yep. to. So anybody... Who's looking for predator control that's coming to the conference? Or you just want to stare going, at something pretty for six hours. You want to consider signing up for that class. We will be more than happy to, to help you out. So, it's 9 o'clock. Everybody, head on over to Alderman Farms. Um, I'm sure you'll enjoy their class. <laughs> I mean, their class. Their, their uh, live stream. They, have nice really, they always have really good live it's stream. Nice <laughs> and stick around for um, Patty and Tommy. They usually sing and sign at the end of their um, live streams as well. It's so always really cool. No, 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 no. I'm taller than Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> oh, there you go. You're taller than Tommy. <laughs> taller than me. But Patty's taller than me, okay. which isn't hard because I'm like super I'm taller short. than Patty, too. So, anyway. All right, y'all have a good evening. We'll talk to y'all later. Have a good night, and we'll see you this time next week. Bye.